Right you guys, got another video here for you. Now if you think you've missed the uh, free upgrade to Windows 10 window and you still want to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 then this video is for you because you can still use your legitimate copy of Windows 7, Windows uh, 8 or 8.1 to upgrade to Windows 10 for free. Now I've got a legitimate version of Windows 7 here and uh, what we're going to do is upgrade to Windows 10 for free. So let's first click on the start button and go control panel. And inside here we can look at system. But if you can't see system and you're in the category view, just go up to view by category and go large icons. Click on system and you will see uh, that our Windows is activated. Now you can see system type here is 32-bit operating system on this version. So if you are going to upgrade, you can only upgrade to the version that you are running. So if you've got a 32-bit, it will be Windows 10 32-bit that you're going to upgrade to. If it's 64-bit you want to upgrade to, you will need to do a fresh install on that, okay? And then use the product key and it should upgrade uh, you to Windows 10 for free. But if you are going to use the upgrade method that I show here, and you've run in a 64-bit or 32-bit, either one of those it will work on, but it will use that version that you are running. So you can see we've got Windows 7 Professional. This means that we are able to get Windows 10 Professional for a free upgrade uh, via this method as well. So whatever way you want to do it, you can either do a fresh install and use your Windows 7 key, or use this method, which I did, and it still worked and I managed to get a Windows 10 activated with this method okay so check it out and uh, I'll show you exactly what to do step by step here now I'm not sure how long this method is going to last before Microsoft stop it and pull the plug on it but at the moment at this present time it still works and you can still upgrade to Windows 10 for free now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, upgrading now there's a couple of ways to go about upgrading you want to make sure that your Windows uh, 7 operating system uh, and computer is compatible to run Windows 10. Now if you run the assistant program this will tell you a couple of simple steps that your computer is compatible or it's not compatible okay so you can do that. Now if you know it is compatible and you want to upgrade then you're good enough to go and all you need to do here is go to the Windows 10 and download their media creation tool. This is the actual website here you can download the media creation tool here. You don't need to create any media. You can just install straight from here. It will install Windows 10 32-bit if you're running 32-bit Windows 7. And if you're running Windows 7 64-bit, it will install Windows 10 64-bit. So let me just download this tool and we're going to run it. Now you can also do this uh, a few different other methods. Now if you also download the ISO image and you're trying to install uh, via the CD, you need to make sure that you've got the right version. So if you're trying to install 64-bit and you're running a 32-bit, it won't work. It will give you an error message. So just let this run now and it will get some things ready for you and start doing a few simple checks. Okay, so now it wants us to accept their terms and conditions. So we're going to accept that and it's saying it's going to get a few things ready again. So let it do that and we'll come right back. Okay, so now it's uh, got a few things ready and it's now offering us the upgrade this PC version. Now before you continue, I think it's advisable that you download uh, a backup software and backup all your uh, data. Now you can use the built-in Windows 7 software to backup all your data. But it's always advisable just in case something goes wrong and uh, you end up losing all your data. I don't want to be responsible for losing all your data. But when you're doing something uh, this drastic, it's always best to make a backup of all your sensitive uh, photos and documents and stuff like that. Just in case something does go wrong. OK, so once you've uh, got all your data backed up, you want to go to upgrade this PC now and click next. What it's going to do is it's going to download uh, the latest version of Windows 10 okay and this is going to take a while so I'm just going to let this uh, go about and do its thing okay so the download period is now finished and it's now going into uh, a verify mode and what that's going to do is verify the download is okay 
and everything's okay with that um, actual file that you've downloaded before it goes ahead and starts to install so you can see here now it's starting to go through its process of creating uh, Windows 10 media and uh, this will take a bit of time so just be patient and let it go ahead now it may take you a bit of time to download because it's about four gigabytes in size or nearly four gigabytes so if you're on a slow internet it will take a fair bit of time so just be patient okay so it's going to start to uh, clean up some files before it closes and uh, take a bit of time so we're just going to let this uh, do its thing and then come back when this part is uh, complete there we go it's now starting to prepare for the install or the upgrade and what it'll do is it go online now and start checking for updates just to make sure that it's got all the latest updates for you okay so now uh, we're gonna click to accept here and you can read this if you want to but I'm just gonna click accept and it's gonna ask us what we want to choose to keep here so it's just going to get some updates first and then it'll ask us whether we want to keep uh, certain data so we'll let this uh, go about doing its update and we'll come back when it's complete so it's just going to make sure that we're ready to install Windows 10 and uh, make sure I think is okay So okay, so that's done that. Now it's making sure that the PC has enough space uh, to upgrade to Windows 10 because it's going to need a fair bit of space available. So if you are running on a full drive here, then you're not going to be able to do it. Okay, so make sure you've got plenty of space uh, to do this. Okay, so now you can see here we're ready to install, and uh, what we're going to do here is you can see it's going to install Windows 10 Pro uh, because we are running Windows. 7 Pro so it's going to upgrade to that version and again if you was running uh, Windows 7 uh, Premium it probably would put on Windows 10 Home so bear that in mind if you do want to go up to the Pro version and you're running Windows 7 Premium you'll need to do a fresh install so it's going to keep your personal files and apps and uh, you can change what you want to keep by clicking on this here so you can see this here keep personal files and apps uh, keep your personal files only or if you want to completely wipe everything you can click on this one and it would uh, delete everything uh, but if you do want to keep uh, your personal files and apps keep this one and that's what we're going to do so we're going to go next and it do love checking for its updates because this is about the fourth time I think it's checked for updates we're going to let this uh, go ahead and do that for us okay so we're ready to install and uh, to recap it's just giving you some options install Windows 10 Pro and keep your personal files and apps and that's okay we're gonna say install and we're gonna move on to the next part which is the installation process of Windows 10 so we'll just let this run through now again uh, some people may think why don't you just do a fresh install well, the reason why you wouldn't want to do a fresh install is if you want to keep your programs. If you've got programs that you're quite happy uh, to use and you don't want to reinstall everything, uh, then this is a must way of doing it because obviously it's so much more easier. It saves you having to install uh, all your applications again, all your settings. And if you're running Photoshop and you've got all your uh, little uh, scripts in there and everything else, it will take forever to uh, reinstall all that stuff. So this is a really easy option for you. So I'm just going to let this go ahead and install here. This will take a bit of time and it may reboot the computer a few times here. So I shall speed this process up uh, right here now. As you can see, it's going to shut down and restart and start loading some files. And then it will move on to the next step, which is now you can see the uh, 
loading screen has changed to Windows 10. So we'll just let this continue with the installation process. Okay, so that part is now ready to create our user account here. Now you will get a few uh, reboots during the uh, install process. So we're just gonna leave this as is, go next, and you get the option to uh, do what you want here. So if you want to disable these, you can do, or you can have them enabled, it's entirely up to you. I'm just gonna disable all these, accept, and you can leave Cortana on if you want to. And I'm gonna say not now. And again, you've got all the option here uh, for your new apps. So I'm gonna go next here. It's just gonna finalize our settings and get it all ready. So I'm just going to let uh, Windows load up now. We should get the uh, login screen coming up anytime soon. There we go. And uh, we need to do now is just let it uh, prepare our uh, user profile and we should be okay and we should be at the desktop. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, completely installed now and I just need to change the resolution here. It has activated our copy of Windows, so that's a good thing. So we'll just take a quick look here. So as you can see, it has activated our copy of Windows, even with our old Windows 7 key. So it's let us upgrade that uh, to Windows 10 still uh, today. Now you can also see that it is give us a 32-bit operating system as well. It won't give you a 64-bit. You will need uh, to uh, do a fresh install for that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and still keep all your data uh, without losing it. I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.